Let me tell you about my best friend. She's a warm-hearted person who loves me till the end. All right, we're happy to welcome back the Gulf Coast Humane Society. Jennifer Galloway is the executive director, and Karen Chicken Dance is the marketing and events assistant. Good morning. Good welcome morning. Back. You met Thank Gary. you. Morning. Nice to meet you, Gary. So, only one left to meet is. Haas. Haas. Haas, is a, Haas is an eight-year-old American bulldog. Um, he's been with us just for a few months. He was an owner surrender. He is looking for a home of his <laughs> own. So he, he is. is. He is. Haas loves the couch. He's not a chewer. He's very housebroken. So he would love to go to a home where he can sit on the couch. He's a couch potato. Yeah, he I is. He is. Yes, yeah. I know it. He is super friendly. He's just a big love bug. I call him my junkyard dog because that's what he kind of looks like. But he doesn't go to a junkyard. He needs to go to a good home. He does. <laughs> Let's hope we can find him a home today. Yes. Well, you guys, I understand, are very full with we dogs are. right now. What's going on? Well, um, we have partnered with Lee County Animal um, Domestic Animal Services, and we've transferred in 40 of their dogs while they're going. 40. 40. Wow. You guys were yeah. full before. Yeah. So we're really full now. So while they're going through their renovation, we have have some of those 40 dogs that are available for adoption at our location. So we're looking for folks in Lee County to come out, meet mm -hmm. our dogs, maybe adopt um, some dogs, and then some volunteers to come help us walk these additional dogs. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's got to be a lot when you have so, all those dogs, and it's going to be a hot summer. It is. So. It is. But we're hoping to come up with some little tricks, you know, maybe some mm -hmm. frozen little treats for the dogs and stuff like that in the afternoons when mm -hmm. they take their walks. Yeah. 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 We've got some, some of great these dogs. dogs. Your special needs dogs. Some of them are older dogs. Mm -hmm. Why don't you tell us about that? This is our less adoptable dog person. Promotion and that's for um, some of our special needs dogs, some of our um, senior. That like, there? Yeah. yeah. Oh no, that's Mara. He looks like that. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Huh? Mara is a she is a less adoptable dog because she's a pit bull. So she's she's a two-year-old pit bull. She's a great dog. She's been to events. She's strong. Mm -hmm. um, so she needs an owner that you know knows how to work with her. Mm -hmm. But she's very well trainable. This is one of uh, this is a shelter favor. He's one of our longer-term residents, Buster. He is special Buster's needs. Buster's been on the show. Yeah. Before. I think he's one he of the came only back. ones yeah. that come on. And we well, can't get him he's got a, um, chronic ear infections and chronic Aww. skin, so whoever adopts him, he will come with medical care from our clinic. No. So, um, so and that will be provided by yes, the clinic, right? Yes, mm -hmm, okay. absolutely. Jessica is our longest-term resident um, overall between the dogs and the cats. Black cats are less adoptable overall. So Jessica's had a hard time, and Jessica is your typical cat. She likes um, to be petted when she wants to be pet. <laughs> She wants to hang out with you when she wants to hang out with She's you? She's just pretty to it's look like at. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, and black cats, I mean, is it just kind of they're, they're just not known to be as cute maybe as some of the other ones? They're and just they're like superstitious. Yeah, that's yeah. superstitious. That yeah. Yeah. yeah, but really they're not. They're great, mm -hmm. great cats. And Jessica's a great cat, just looking for the yeah. right family for well, her. Well, talk about the benefit of mm -hmm. adopting a senior pet because senior, you know, just because they have a couple years on them, we only get better with age, yes. right? Well, just think about it with a, with a, an older dog, you don't have to potty train. Haas, I can leave him in a room overnight. He's not chewing on. He's not chewing up any furniture or chewing your favorite shoes or anything like that. So the training's already in place. They can move right into your family. Mm -hmm. and that's so that's a positive. Because we got a new pet and we had to mm -hmm. go through the whole training process. And my sister was like, I don't know about this. So when you get a pet that's yeah. established, and especially if you haven't had a yeah. pet, yes, it's sometimes better to get one that's up you and running. Transition. It's you know? a much easier transition. Right. Yeah. What yeah. are some of the other breeds? I mean, obviously pit bulls. I mean, I know are, are hard to yeah. adopt. What are some of the other other ones that get get overlooked and they shouldn't. In our area, we have a lot of um, a lot of hounds. So mm -hmm. just a kind of a you know the plain brown hound. Um, and so we have a lot of those in our shelters down here. Um, we also have a lot of the bigger dogs because there's a lot of condominium living. So you know some of our bigger shepherds and Rottweilers and mm -hmm. stuff like that get get overlooked. Mm -hmm. Well, and hounds. Yeah. I have a beagle. They make yes, great dogs. They do. <laughs> they do. <laughs> <They're> very loving. <laughs> Paisley. Paisley. Yes, we actually have yeah. two beagles with oh, us right now. If you want to come don't by. Tell me that. Don't tell <laughs> me that. <laughs> all right. Um, well, and I think we showed all the pictures as well. So how would yeah. you, if you want um, people to, to get involved and maybe adopt Haas or some of the other dogs, well, what's the best thing to do? What we're trying to do is challenge um, all the folks in Lee County to come on out mm -hmm. and, and adopt a less adoptable pet. And we'll really, they'll enrich their lives. Mm -hmm. So come on out. Um, we're open from noon till 5, um, seven days a week. So they can come on out and meet the animals if they want to volunteer. We have a program. There's an orientation program. We teach you know all the Isn't safe there ways. Is dog training offered too mm -hmm. as well when you when you get dogs? We do. We have uh, we have a trainer um, that that works with us on hand mm -hmm. and the, and she has run specials with 
four um, four free training sessions for for some of our dogs. And yeah. it's an easy process, right? Yes. When people come in, it's not a lot of paperwork that they have to fill no. out of basic things. And yeah. then bring your driver's license, and um, their you know adoption fee is based upon their age and their breed and their size. Mm -hmm. So um, you know you need that. If you have uh, other pets, you'll need to bring their vet records. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And they're already spayed and neutered. And spayed, neutered, microchipped, up to date on vaccinations. It's a five hundred dollars um, um, value wow. when you adopt the, the dog. Yeah, and just in medical care. Okay, and it yeah. will make someone's I mean, yes. life. It, mm -hmm. yeah. The companionship, to have a pet around all the time and be part of the family. Yes. So yes. I encourage it. I thank you. We appreciate that. <laughs> Are there any pets? You don't, you don't. I travel too much to have pets, but we got my sister a yeah, little say, dog, and mm -hmm. Lucky's yeah. great. Yeah. Are you going to say, do you have any our, events coming up? Well, we do, but also I was going to say our senior dogs are actually only $25 to adopt. That's so true. Hoss is $25, yeah. he's neutered, he's completely housebroken, current all of his shots, current all his flea and heartworm preventatives, he comes with 30 days of free pet health care, and the first vet visit. He has his free, Hoss, within the first two weeks. Hoss, they're giving you away, buddy. I'll tell you something. <laughs> right I'm going to tell you right here on the blend. Whoever's going to come in and, and get the family to pay us, I will pay the fee. <laughs> oh, oh. I love it. That's wonderful. All right, you tell said it. Tell okay. the blend. He's ready all right, to go. he's ready to go. <laughs> all right. Um, as for events, we have Yapier on the eighth from six to eight p.m. in, in Bell Tower. We have Adoption on the ninth, and that's from noon to three in Coconut Point. And then on the fourteenth, we have our Dog Days of Summer Games at Hammond Stadium, and that starts at seven o'clock. And then on the 23rd and 24th is the Watermelon Festival, yeah. and that's right across yeah. the street from our shelter. And it's really cool. It's at the Flea Master Flea Market. And they so have, have events, Gary, like mm -hmm. every other day. Oh, we mm -hmm. have a lot of events.